when we get infected with the virus, so the virus infects our lungs, but also it ends up that we are shedding this virus in our, yeah, basically in our poop, basically. So this is how we release it then. <laughs> this is how we can track it. So every two days we get a sample from them. So I would roughly say this takes us one and a half day if you're really fast. If we are a little bit slower, then it takes two, two and a half days for this. So it's pretty much the same thing that people are doing for testing uh, the uh, uh, nose swabs or the throat swabs, for example. Um, it's just applied to uh, wastewater instead of swab samples. In order to concentrate the sample, uh, we put in a centrifuge uh, and uh, concentrate the solids part of the sewage. So in this sample of genetic material, we're looking for specific the uh, so-called uh, MR, uh, the RNA. VAR RNA is essentially the genetic material that's encapsulated within um, the uh, protein shell of the virus. Right. So that's basically the genetic information that the virus injects into our bodies in order to force us to make more viral particles. And, and since this is specific for the virus, we can use this genetic information to identify it from all the other material that we isolate or we find in uh, sewage. When we get the wastewater, we are looking into the whole city. So we see how much of the genetic material of the virus in there, but we cannot point it out to X, Y, Z, to you or me who are basically shedding this virus. So we know the quantity of it, but we cannot tell from whom it comes. In this particular case, in Omicron, we are mostly test. Uh, there a lot of people are asymptomatic, and we don't capture those typically in, in these clinical tests because if you don't have any symptoms, you not, don't necessarily go to a testing center to get tested. And right now, uh, it's also that we only test people that are symptomatic. Instead of testing every person, we get a composite sample, in this case, the, the sewage. And this gives us basically a basic idea about um, where in the infection cycle we are. So are we riding the wave? Are we on top of the wave? Is the situation plateauing? Are we going down? So these are kind of the major information that we get from it. Uh, and, and also that's what uh, the health authorities are interested in. I think for the health authorities, this information is quite useful to see where we have hotspots, outbreaks happening. And basically then to do a kind of restrictions into place that this spread is not further spreading. So, so I think it's powerful to pinpoint it, and for certain diseases it's also powerful to eradicate diseases.